Hi, I'm Leslie Marin, and this is the rundown. A brush fire broke out around 4 a.m. near Laguna Hills on a windy morning with unusually high temperatures. The Emerald Fire forced evacuations of nearby residents and shut down part of PCH. Fire crews responded quickly to protect homes on the hillside. Well, COVID sick pay is back in the Golden State. Governor Newsom has signed the bill to bring back the state's supplemental sick coverage. It guarantees up to 80 hours of paid leave for people diagnosed with COVID as long as they work at a company with more than 25 employees. And the Department of Homeland Security has issued an alert about a possible protest around SoFi Stadium during the Super Bowl. They are tracking reports of a potential convoy similar to the one in Canada that could be planning to travel to several U.S. cities. Roads around the stadium have been shut down. Now here's meteorologist Amber Lee with a check of your forecast. All right, good morning. It's going to be another warm one here in Southern California. Unseasonably hot where we could see more records being broken. Winds are still pretty gusty. They begin to decrease as we head toward the rest of the day. We'll still have these winds with us on Friday, and then they could start to pick back up again as we head into the weekend. So wind advisories still in place until 4 p.m. for most areas in the lower elevations. And then we do have stronger winds over the mountains and also the Inland Empire and Inland Orange County. From now through the end of the weekend, that heat advisory goes on, and that just means that we are looking at these really hot temperatures closer to 90s in some areas. Newport Beach, Anaheim, LAX, and then downtown LA, we could see these areas break records, and we're watching Long Beach and Burbank. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. We will continue to stay warm, dry, and gusty through Super Bowl Sunday. And then by Valentine's Day Monday, it's going to start to cool. We're looking at temperatures mainly in the 70s. And then on Tuesday, much-needed rain should be headed our way. Thanks, Amber. And remember, we're always streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. You can watch anytime on our free CBS News app and Pluto TV. I'm Leslie Marine.